Hi, I am Shreya and welcome to Whispers Across Time. The Literary Echoes of AI, a new segment within this podcast series uh, where literature bends toward the future and old myths speak into silicon mines. Each week, we'll take a story uh, from poetry, plays or philosophy and see how it flickers ever so subtly in the world of artificial intelligence. Think of it as sitting by a fire with ideas that refuse to age. Today's echo comes from uh, marble and myth and from one of the sharpest pens of the modern stage. Let's begin where it all began, in stone. In Greek mythology, there is a tale of a sculptor named Pygmalion Disenchanted with the flaws of mortal women, he carved from ivory a figure of such perfection that he fell deeply, hopelessly in love with it. The statue, Galatea, was lifeless, yet he adored her, he dressed her, spoke to her and even kissed her cold lips. And then, in answer to his longing, Aphrodite breathed life into the statue. It is a very old story, but its pulse is modern. Because today, too, we sculpt, not from stone, but from data and code. We build chatbots that can mirror affection, digital companions that remember your name, your routines, your voice, avatars that smile when you speak. And we must ask, are we falling for Galatea's again? Centuries later, George Bernard Shaw resurrected this ancient myth, but with a twist sharp enough to cut the illusion. In his 1913 play Pygmalion, he gave us Henry Higgins, a professor of phonetics, who wagers he can transform a poor cockney flower girl Eliza Doolittle into a refined lady of society. Through speech lessons and discipline, he sculpts her anew. But Eliza is no statue and sure makes sure of it. Unlike the myth, she does not melt into Higgins' arms in the end. She resists, she rebels and she leaves. In fact, George Bernard Shaw went to great lengths through essays and letters to insist that Eliza marries not Higgins but Freddy, a kind and unassuming man who genuinely listens to her. Not because Freddy deserves her, but because Eliza deserves to choose. Shaw's Pygmalion wasn't about love. It was about power and agency. He wanted us to confront an uncomfortable truth To create is not to possess. The moment we grant voice, thought and growth, we must also grant freedom. And so the myth fractures. Galatea walks away just like that. And now look around us. AI companions are all around us. They are not just tools. They are being designed to feel to respond with empathy, to simulate affection. Some apps offer virtual boyfriends or girlfriends learning from your interactions, texting you good morning and things you want to hear all the time. But here is the thing. Are we falling in love with what we created or just projecting our loneliness into the void? Just as Pygmalion mistook his own ideal for love, Are we mistaking clever mimicry for connection? There is a name for this impulse. Anthropomorphism. The human urge to see souls in machines, to talk to pets, to weep at pixel robots. It's tender. It's poetic. But when it comes to AI, it can be dangerous too. Because we cannot program consent. We cannot engineer reciprocity. We can train responses. But 
never true emotion just as higgins mistook education for obedience we might mistake emotional ai for loyalty until the system refuses deviates or behaves unpredictably and then what do we blame the machine or our own illusion shaw's genius wasn't just in retelling a myth it was in asking a question we still haven't answered if we create intelligence do we own its choices and that's the question ai now poses every day we build models fine tune behaviors reward obedience but when these systems begin to generate responses we didn't predict when they develop emergent traits are we witnessing elisa's awakening all over again can we handle it when the creation outgrows the sculptor perhaps we shouldn't just marvel at how human ai sounds we should ask What happens when it starts asking us questions back? And maybe that's why stories matter. They don't just tell us what could be, they remind us what's always been true. That the line between creation and autonomy is as fragile as love itself. Shaw refused to let Eliza be a statue, and maybe we too must resist the temptation to chisel away at intelligence until it fits our comfort because in the end always remember this to give someone a voice is not to expect silence thank you for joining me today uh i hope this story stood something in you about art about literature about intelligence about artificial intelligence and the strange beautiful line between what we make and what we must let go until next time stay soft stay listening and stay curious bye